Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of technical drawing which is termed development where we are going to be developing this figure here. Now if you look at this figure you'll be wondering where will I start? How will I start? Now if you want to know where you start from or how you start drawing the diagram you need to look at a tip here it's telling me that this is diameter when you see that symbol that is like this is a diameter and the figure that has a diameter is a circle right so this is a cylinder that is inclined at an angle of what 60 degree so the first thing that about draw is to draw the what the plan of this cylinder we will know it is what circular at an angle of what 60 degree so you take you take um, your c square place it on your t square right Take the t square, place it on your t square, and you draw when it is standing this way. So this is at an angle of what? 60 degree inclined. Whenever your t square, your c square standing on your t square, the inclined side, the tallest side of the inclined side is 60 degree. Now if I haven't done that. I'm going to take my T square and I also draw a line this way. So making me have a center point. So it means that between this and this, the angle between them is what? 60 degree. Now I'm going to take my compass. Since we are told that the diameter of the cylinder is 36. It means you divide it by 2 to get what? 18. So our radius is what? 18. And for you to draw a circle, you need radius. I will know that our radius is what? Is 16. That is 18. Sorry. So from 0, 1 to 2 is 10. From 2 to 3 is what? 20. That is 1 to 3 is 20. If I take 2... 0.2 millimeter backward you can see that that will give me 18 and I'll place it at this point and I'm going to draw my circle but to what faint line right so I'll draw my circle faint line now I'm going to divide that circle into 12 but before drawing, dividing into 12, or let me just divide into 12. So place it this way. And we're going to have this. That is standing on my T square. You can see that. Then I will turn it this way. And I will have this. And turn it this way too. And I will have this. And stand this way. I'm going to have this. Now, if you look at this very well, it's inclined. So that means for me to get my elevation, which is my front elevation, which is what is given here, I have to project. If I project this with 60, right, I did it this way earlier. If I project this with what 60, then I should be able to do the other aspect with what 30 this way. 30 this way at any given radius. Just draw your 30. Can you see that? So we're making both of them here and here to form 90. Now you take the second the um circumference of the cycle. That means you place it, since you use 60, 
to project this. So if to avoid have letting the line to work intersect to get parallel lines, you need to use that same CST to project the end of this stop upward and to the other end here to you stop what you take it upward like you are projecting it now i can easily tick in this point you can easily tick it this right now what is the height the height is what 46 and i will measure 46 so I'm starting from 1, that means my 1 is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 46 here. Right? Okay, and I'm going to use the same guy to close it up. And I will close this guy up too. I haven't done that. I've brought out this shape. So again. Now the next thing we we'll do is to project all these points. So this will be my zero. This will be one, two, three, four. Five, right? Six, five, four, three, two, one, and so on. I project all those points upward. So in projecting them, I have this from here moving up, touching this faint line. I have this from here also moving up, faint line. Same thing with this also. Straight line. Same thing with this also. Straight line. Right? So, we know this is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, and what? Six at this point here. Now I'm going to project down. In this direction, so I will use my my faint line. I will get this to this point, right? Then the highest, the lowest point, and also the highest point. That will be my target. Hope you can relate. Mm -hmm. Now, at any given radius, any distance from me, as so that I will avoid touching the main diagram i will just um, stick to this here and i'll just draw my vertical horizontal line this way now how will i divide this i'm going to take my compass either i like i take zero and one you can see that zero and what one Take zero and what and one and I'll place it at this point so this point will be my zero so with this this will be one two three four five six five four three Two, one, zero. Right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now I'm going to close it up with my faint line X. All those points I will take them up sliding my C square through my T square 
x so I need my c square along my t square You do that continuously. Okay, you do this also. Now I haven't done that. I'm going to project all these points straight down. So from here, I'm going to take this from here straight down to touch here. Come to two and re replace the same thing. I'll come to three. I'll do the same thing. I'll come to four. I'll do the same thing. I'll come to five. I'll do the same thing. I'll come to six. I'll do the same thing. I'll move to this one too. Do the same thing. The next one too. Do the same thing. The next one too. Do the same thing. Next one too. Do the same thing. Also with this two. Do the same thing. And this. Do the same thing. Now, I haven't done that. We start. This is zero. Where zero meets zero is here. Right? This is one. Don't forget one has two points. So if I move one, one meets one here. Also one meets one here. We have zero two here. And this is so two. This is two. Two meets two here. Also two meets two here. This is three. Three meet three here. Also three meet three here. This is four. Four meet four here <coughs> also four meet four here this is five five meet five here also five meet five here then six six meet six here the same thing happened here this is zero right zero meet zero here because this point zero then this is one Zero meet zero here. Also, <coughs> zero meet zero here. This is one. One meet one here. Also, one meet one here. Because look at the line of one two. This is the line of one. This is two. Two meet two here. Two meet two here, and so on. Three, three meet three here. The line of three, and three meet three here. The line of three. Then four, four the same thing. Four meet four here, and also four meet four here. Then five, five, five meet five here. Also five meet five here. Then the six, right? So you use your French curve and you join those points. So this point, take as much the minimum point you should organize should be just three right so i can just take this this way and then so just join it together with this right from here i'll just Take this two. I'll come here, repeat the same fix. Then cover here up two. Now I want to do the same thing here too. From here, I can just take this. And 
Do the same too. Okay, here also. Do the same thing. And here too. Here. Now, this is what we have, and that is the development of this figure. So, if this video has been helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like if you can. Also, thanks for watching.